Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to a brand new video. Quite a mammoth task we've got on our hands today because we have to ask ourselves the question about BBC Two idents from the 1990s. These are often heralded as some of the greatest idents ever made, the goats, if you will. But I'm here to ask the question, is that really true? Are they really the greatest of all time? Have they held up over the past 30 years? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a tier list. We're on Tier Maker, and I've got all of the BBC Two idents here from that 90s era into the early 2000s, and we are going to rank them. Just a few things before we get started, of course, this is just my personal ranking. Obviously, my word is not the gospel on this thing. You can have a completely different opinion. And in terms of what we're covering, I'm covering all the idents that are sort of out there, you know, that exist, that have footage. So any of the missing idents from this era, we won't be covering. Pretty much everything when I did it on the ident review extra, including the Christmas idents, should be covered in this tier ranking. So without further ado, let's get into it. You can see I've got the standard, you know, from S to F, and we kick off with paint. Now paint, you know, this kicked off the entire set. This is one that is, you know, you think of BBC Two, most people think of paint. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's an easy start for me, guys. It's gonna go way up there in the S tier, as it so rightfully deserves. Next up, we've got water. Now this one's quite a slick ident, you know, it's very, very easy on the eye, very soothing. And in terms of like the aesthetics, I do like the current of water that runs through the middle, but I kind of wanted it to be maybe like more immersive, like the two is submerged fully in the water. But you know, it's a pretty iconic ident, again, one of the original batch, pretty classic. I'm going to put it in, I'm going to put it in B tier, I'm going to put that in B tier. Then we've got Blade. Now, Blade, again, one of the original batch, iconic for just falling in, that two cutting in there. Again, it has that, you know, teal aspect, that sort of running colour scheme that BBC Two has, but I'm going to be honest, in hindsight, you know, I don't know if it's one of my favourites or one of my least favourites, it's just, it's not bad. C tier, absolutely C tier. This is going to be controversial, I told you this was going to be a controversial list, and we've still got plenty of these to get through. Then we've got Neon. Now, I always like how, you know, the sort of blinking effect with neon carried through, it's quite iconic there. I do want one of those two neon lights. Um, you never see the lights in full, so part of me thinks it doesn't deserve to be in S tier, but I'm gonna put it in A. Let me just have a look at that. I'm gonna put it in A tier, yeah. That looks about right to me. Then we've got the copper cutout. Now, there is the black and white variant to this as well, but I'm just going with the, the main color version here. It's, it, it's fine, you know, the rustic looks pretty cool, but it's not, it's not necessarily one of my all-time favorites. This is going to go in, let me think, let me think. This is gonna go, I think it's gonna have to go in D tier, guys. Yeah, D tier for this one. Then we have glass. Yes, glass. So again, very sleek, very cool, very visually appealing. I wish they hadn't used gray as the background here. I feel that just lets this one down a little bit personally, but you know, hey oh, it is what it is. So. I think glass is gonna have to go in. I'm gonna put that in C tier. Yeah, I think that's where that belongs. Then we've got silk. I really like this one, really love the, the soundtrack to this one, the, the silk effect, how they managed to get this, you know, looking the way it does. I love the fact it's mainly that sort of tealy, bluey color. You know, there's no um, an abundance of gray. I'm gonna put that one in A tier, yeah. Definitely put that one up in A tier. Then we have paper cutout. And I'm gonna be honest, I've always found this one a little bit boring. I like the sort of it's giving you a peek to what's behind it, but there's there's no real movement. It doesn't do a great deal for me. I'm gonna hesitate to put them. I'm I, yeah, I'm gonna put this in F. You didn't you didn't need to make this one, guys. You really didn't. Then we've got shadow. Again, really cool effect here with the two sort of moving around, creating, of course, that shadow effect. It's not a bad, it's not a bad one. It's not one of my favorites, though, I'm not gonna lie. Big fan of the background being, you know, blue than gray, for example, but I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this in D tier. Yeah, D tier so far. Then we have garden, where the flowers flourish into the two. I really like this. This is when, I think you can start seeing they're beginning to get even more experimental than what they were, because the first batch of eye dance, as you can see, just looking at this list, you know, it's very gray and blue. This is where we start to venture out a little bit more. So I really like the, the, the blooming of the flowers effect. I'm gonna put that straight into B tier for me. Then we have, I think it's called One Night in Japan or Made in Japan or something like that. 
uh, obviously a themed night on BBC Two, starting to get in with the with the theme nights there. It's it's a fun little one, but I'd say it's nothing nothing groundbreaking for me. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put that in C tier. Yeah, C tier is where this one belongs for me. Then we have English. It's called yes, the teapot one because we're also very English, drinking our cups of tea and all that. What what? Uh, yeah, it's a fun one. The two is a teapot. I like that. I like the aesthetic. We like fun aesthetics for the two. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna whack that in C tier as well. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't have that much for me at least to ascend it any higher than that. And then rounding off that first year, we have Christmas of 1991 with the the package and the rocket ship flying overhead. It's a fun one. It reminds me of like the old silent movie days. Uh, ooh, where am I gonna put this one? I'm actually gonna put this in. I'm gonna put it in D tier. I know, I know, but in recent years, it just hasn't, it hasn't clicked with me as much. So this is 1991, the first year that these this ident set hit the market. These are all the idents from that first year. A pretty decent showing, I think. You know, we've got most in C tier there. I've only put paint in S, but, you know, I'm going with my gut feeling here, guys. I mean, paint is S. It's iconic. Come on. So we move into the year 1992, and we kick off with Rembrandt, a themed evening for that creative there. It's, it's an interesting idea, you know, putting it in. A t the two within one of the paintings, but it doesn't do much for me beyond that. It's very artistic. I like that, but I'm going to put this in D tier, I'm afraid. Yep, I'm yeah, pretty certain on that one. Then we've got the One World Ident here. Again, really nice little effect for this one, very similar to the Japan one that we saw earlier. I'm trying to think where I put this. Am I going to... I'm going to put that in C tier. Yeah, similar for the similar reasons with the Japan one. Nothing nothing crazy, crazy to get me putting it any higher. Then we have Wet and Windy. Now, this, this one might seem really simple, but I love the aesthetic of this. The fact that the two is sort of knocking against the window on a wet and windy night. It's very warm. It's very comforting it's very calming i really like like the aesthetics of it the the shade of blue that the two's illuminated in really strong stuff i'm gonna put that right up here in a tier or should it go in s should it go in s tier is it that no 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 we're gonna keep it in a tier then we have billboard where we obviously see the two on a billboard you know it's pretty pretty simple stuff it's nice it's cool it's very obvious what it is that's gonna go straight into c tier for me then we have Edinburgh Nights. This was the time with the Edinburgh Fringe Festival that happens every year. This one was lost for quite a while, wasn't it? Or only like screenshots existed, but then uh, a clip of it emerged. It's fun, you know, a two sort of emerging on, on stage. I do think they could have done a lot more with this, though. It, so whilst I like the idea, I'm going to whack that in D tier. I love how E, we haven't got anything in E tier yet, which makes me <laughs> makes me worry I'm going to put something there eventually. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see as we go. Then we have, I believe it's called War and Peace, this one. So this is obviously to tie in with some programs about the war. And this ident's really beautiful in its remembrance. You know, you've got the barbed wire forming into the two, the barb, the two itself in that sort of bluey teal color. And you have a poppy at the bottom as well. It's a very respectful ident. I think it was very cleverly designed the way it all comes together. I really like this one, actually. I'm going to put that in A tier. Just because I think if you're going to do, if you're going to do an ident that's also meant to invoke respect as well as uh, honor the theme of the pro of the night that you're going for, I think that's a good way to do it. Then we have powder, the two falling into the powder. And again, very simple concept, but it's so satisfying seeing that powder sort of fly out when the two lands. And I like the fact that the two's in white as well. It just, it, it amplifies the powder effect even more. It's a really great effect. Is that going to go... Oh, I'm torn between A tier and S tier because powder, powder is quite elite. I'm not going to lie to you. Powder is quite elite. Oh, I'm going to put powder. I'm going to put it in S. Yeah, it is elite. You know, I love watching it. It's just a very satisfying island to watch. So powder goes in S. Then we have optic or optics. Now, I really like this effect. You know, the different colors swirling around forming the two. I wish they settled on the two more than always constantly moving, but I get that's part of the effect. But yeah, everything about this one, the soundtrack, the look, the design, I guess so iconic, but I, ooh, I'm going to put that. Oh, see now. Right. Okay. Okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm going to put this in S. I'm going to take powder down to A. Sorry, powder fans, but optics is, is just that little bit better. A little bit better. Then we have the Halloween night trio in 1992. Again, these were lost for a time until they were found. But there are three different ones to this. I've chosen to do them individually. So the first one is basically paint, but with like a red effect to simulate blood instead of actual paint. Nice, you know, nice reworking, but could have gone a bit further with it. I'm going to place that in the D tier for that one. 
The second Halloween night ident is where two crocodile clips get attached and the two gets electrocuted. Although it doesn't really because it doesn't really react. It's, again, nice idea, but I think I'm going to put that in the E tier, to be honest with you. The first in the E tier. Well done, Halloween night. You made it. And then the third one is like the, the psycho one where the two gets quite graphic for the BBC, really. But where the two gets stabbed and like blood starts pouring out of it. And you've got the soundtrack to simulate the shower scene in Psycho. But this is probably the strongest one for me. At least as of 2024, this is the strongest one. I wish it was would have gone on a little bit longer. But it's going to go in C tier. Definitely the best of the Halloween night idents, that's for sure. And to round off 1992, we have the Christmas ident that year. Which is a Christmas tree which flourishes out. The lights on it, the red lights forming the two. Really nice, really sleek. For me, a big improvement from 1991. It's simple. It communicates Christmas. The green and red look fantastic. Uh, ooh, I'm going to put that in... I'm going to put that in the A tier. I debated about S, but no, it's going in the A tier. Really strong ident to round off the year. So we've covered 1991 and 1992. Here's the state of the board at the moment. C tier still winning out there. We've got a few more in D creeping up, though. Though There's a few more A's and another addition to S tier. It'd be really interesting if... An ident from every year ended up in S tier. I'm not saying that's going to be the case. We'll have to see as we go into the year 1993. So we begin with a night. Is it called a night full of love or a night of love? Something like that. A program of love. I actually quite like this one. The two coming out of the water and the reflection simulating a love heart. Again, a very simple, somewhat cheesy or corny effect. But I love how the two is in that bright red coming out of the water. Looks so crisp and smooth. Really like the aesthetics of that one. For me, that's going up in A tier. No cap there. That's a strong start for the year. Then we have birth night. Now, this one, this one's just a bit weird, isn't it? You know, it's simulating a, a scan, you know, when someone's pregnant to check on the baby, but it, except the baby is a two, which makes me think of the horrifying thought of a two growing inside someone. Eee, that's that's nasty. But yeah, I'd, I, I again, fun concept and neat idea with this one, but it's not one I particularly vibe with. So I'm going to put that in, let me see. I'm going to put that in D tier. Yeah, birth night in D tier, I think. Okie dokie, next up we have crime and punishment. Yes, the shadow of a two in a jail cell. And again, really nice idea for a theme night. I like the the way it's like a bird's eye view, that's really cool there. Yeah, really nice, nicely shot, nicely carried out there by the BBC. I'm going to whack that in B tier, another one for the B tier boys. Then we have, I believe it's called One Day in the 60s, where you get these little snapshot windows popping up with bits of 60s iconography before you start to see the two behind it in a brighter blue than normal. Again, it's a fun idea. It evokes a lot of that uh, 60s aesthetic, but... Is it one of the greats? I don't necessarily think so. I think it actually can be a bit cluttered more than anything. So whilst I dig the vibe, I think I'm going to put that in E tier, to be honest. It's not one not one I revisit all that often. Then we have this one, After Margaret, which is a very oddly titled one. But it basically, it's like the door of 10 Downing Street, but instead of the 10, it's the 2 bolted on there. And this was in 1993. So this is some years after Margaret Thatcher uh, left at uh, number 10. So yeah, it was definitely after Margaret, but again, it's just the two on the door, and sleek as it does look, there's not that much more to it, and I'm gonna... Did we actually need this one? Did we? I... Uh, no. I'm gonna put it in F. Sorry, guys. I'm... Yeah, another F. Another F. Then we have the animated two. Now, this one I really love, because obviously it invokes a more animated style. I love, like, the, you know, the sort of crashing through the floor to form the two. Really nice stuff there, and great animation style as well. I'm going to put that in, I think I'm going to put that in the B tier. There's just something about it. My gut's saying it's not not high enough to be on, on ARS. Just, just something about it. Then we have Car. Now, everyone loves Car. I've actually seen Car in the uh, BBC headquarters down in London. That's like the actual prop they use, which is really cool. I mean, what can you say about this one? It's the two just whizzing about, starting to give it a more inkling of a personality, something which would really resonate in the 2000s when that brand took over. But I love the yellow background. It even foreshadows the whole yellow background thing. But yeah, Car's, car's just really good fun. I love it. S tier. S tier for car, nice one. And there you go, 1993 has a place in S tier. Then we have Dog, again, like a really fun one, a two with a bit more personality, moving along, doing little flips and stuff like that. I think car's the better item, personally, but I do really enjoy the Dog one, so that's going to go in A tier right there. Then we have Balloon, a, a bit, of, bit of an odd one. It's just, it is literally a two balloon flying about in the sky, no more, no less. I think they could have been done more with it, maybe like a more 
a bunch more balloons rather than just a singular balloon. It just sort of stands a bit oddly. I'm gonna put that in E tier because I do like I do like how it's been framed and like the colours and all that. But yeah, there's there's not that much more to it than that, is there? Then we have Crystal Ball, which I think was rarely seen or was only seen one time. Again, I like the idea of the ball gliding along and you occasionally see the two, but it happens so fast, I don't think you ever really get chance to appreciate it properly, at least in my opinion. So, I do like the concept though. And no, it's going to go in E. It's going to go in E, just because I think, again, this could have been reworked to a much more effective manner. But as it stands, it's just... It, it's a bit of a an idea that doesn't really work fully. Then we have firecracker. We all love firecrackers, don't we? Safely. Safely, of course. But yes, we see all these firecrackers on the two explode, and it flies about the place in a flurry. It looks fantastic than just seeing it like that. Do I, I like how the music chimes as well. It's not quite S tier, and for me, it's not quite A tier. It's going to go in B tier, which might be a bit shocking. But no, this, I'm just, again, I'm going with my gut, guys. I'm going with what my gut's telling me on this one. And to round off 1993, we have the Christmas ident. I mean, this, this is S tier. This is, this is GOAT standard. I mean, just the way it's, it's elongated, it's played out, the full sequence itself, really cool with all the characters, the music, the, the two at the end, ace. This is where you can tell, I think, they were really feeling their confidence with this ident set and the brand in general, and they were just really willing to push the boat out a lot more, and I really appreciate that. So, at the end of 1993, three years in, A tier's winning out now, which is good, you know, reaffirming that status that they were, they were good. C and D are tied, though, we've added a few more stinkers on there at the bottom, but, you know, S tier, we've got two from 1993 in there, so that's pretty promising. Let's see if 1994 delivers the same. So we kick off with the 30th anniversary ident. BBC Two turned 30 in 1994, and indeed, it does turn 60 this year, and don't worry, I'm well aware something will probably be coming. But yes, the two on the birthday cake there, really, again, really, really obvious one, like simple, nice touch, the two landing on the 30, it's like a, a variation of powder almost, and it's nice, again, I think you could have gone a bit more celebratory or a bit more honouring its past, but I'm going to put that in the B tier, a nice way to celebrate the 30th birthday. Then we have Goal TV, now I'm not the biggest fan of football, admittedly, and this ident, I, it's a weird one. It's at a weird angle. It's just, it's it's never really quite done it for me. I just, I don't really get the point in this one. So that's going to go straight into F tier. Another stinker there from BBC Two. Then we have the moon one. Again, I believe this was thought lost for a while as well until footage of it surfaced a few years ago. I dig this. I dig this a lot. I dig the two silhouette on the moon. It looks really eerie, but also very intriguing. It evokes all those video footages we saw of like the moon landings of the late 60s, early 70s. Really dig the vibes and aesthetic with that one. That's going to go straight into A tier for me. Then we have the Berlin Wall. Now, the Berlin Wall did come down in 1989, and this was sort of marking the fifth anniversary of that and I love how you know you get the piece of the two taken away the dark blue in the background there again sort of like the the war and peace one it's a very well thought out ident for the subject matter and the theming of it I just wish I don't know there's something about it holding it back from A tier. I'm going to put that in B tier. I feel it's a really solid, really solid B tier on this one. Then we have Night School, the one I missed originally in the I Don't Review Extra. But yeah, this is just, you know, a simple turn in the page of the book. The two's there. Nothing more, nothing less. It's it's going to go in E tier. I just think it could have been made a bit more, a bit more intriguing for me. Then we have the Christmas Ident of 1994. Obviously, after 1993's Christmas one, you ain't got to make great many places to go. I think they did great with what they offered there. I think it's a nice, it's a nice, it's nice. That's it. It's nice. And it's going to go in C tier because that's, that's where nice things belong, just in C tier. So that's the end of 1994. And shockingly, no idents from this year made it into S tier. There were less of them. You'll notice as the years go on, less and less new idents start to get made. Apart from maybe, say, 1997, 98, but we'll get there. A tier still winning out, just C tier is not far behind it. We've added another F and a few more towards the bottom there. But you know, nice to see that the the higher rankings are still winning out. 1995, then we have Centenary, which I believe this was to commemorate 100 years. Was it a film, which would be 1895? It was something like that. I love stuff like this. You know, the two amongst all these film prints here, and the fact that the two itself is styled to look like an old-fashioned film can. If you look really closely, I dig that aesthetic. I dig that vibe. It's going to go in, oh god, you know what, B or A tier. I do like the aesthetic and like the vibe, could there be something more to it? It's going to go in B, yep, I've decided, B tier for this one. Then we have Diary, which again has a really cool, very cool effect, you know, the sort of 
pages being ripped off one by one there. I've never really been taken this with this one. A load of people say this one's like one of the greats and all that sort of stuff, but I've got to be completely honest, it's never really done it for me in the same way it clearly has for other people. I'm going to put this. It is a nice effect, though. Yeah, that's going to go in C tier for me. It's never been one of the goats for me. Then we have Steam. Now, again, the soundtrack, the way... The, the way the steam is created off the two. Brilliant effect. Really love that style. Really love that vibe. It's been one of my favorites for a long time. Yeah, it's going in S tier for me, guys. I'm afraid, yeah. One of the best ones. Steam, man. Bring it up for 95. Then we have the learning zone, the educational strand. Now, it's an interesting idea, you know, seeing all the cogs and stuff through the cutout of the two there. Part of me wishes it wasn't like the cutout style. You, you've probably noticed that cutout style doesn't do it greatly for me. I wish they'd have gone with more you know, show the cogs in full or something like that. But it's a neat idea. You know, I just think it's neat. Is it gonna... Oh, no, I'm gonna... No, it, it, it's not D tier. It's C. It's C tier. Then Christmas 1995, Wallace and Gromit with the lights. I mean, who doesn't love a bit of Wallace and Gromit? It is just them, you know, sort of static smiling at you in a very creepy way for Christmas. But it is Christmas. It, it celebrates all that is and with Wallace and Gromit they're the perfect characters to back that up that's going to reliably go in B tier for me I think definitely a, a nice one to end the year so that's 1995 done we're five years in halfway through the decade and here's the state of the board C tier has taken over again just by one but B and A are not far behind it uh, didn't add anything into the bottom three tiers so you know it's holding up. We're holding up well. 1996. Uh, believe it or not, only one new ident was introduced in 1996 for BBC Two. And that was the Christmas ident that year, which sees it sort of like a wizard sort of character disappear and form a sparkly set of twos. Or form a two, I should say. One big two, a sparkly two against the moon or something. It's a bit confusing for me. It's a bit nondescript. It's a bit planned, dare I say, for Christmas. Uh, oh, but I mean, it, nice... Uh, E or F tier? That's the question. It's gonna... No, it's gonna... No, it's gonna go in E tier. Because I know for a fact there's some Christmas idents coming that I would put below this one. Then we have Tug of War, a BBC Wales exclusive from 1997. Uh, really interesting design. I like the design of the two in that Tug of War aspect. You never see the victor, as it were. But it's, yeah, it's an interesting one. It has an eerie quality to it, actually. I'm going to put that in C tier for a design perspective alone. Then we have the Mars Weekend, the last of these items to feature the old slanted BBC corporate logo. Again, uh, they've, they've molded the two in the color of Mars, and you've got like an alien coming out of it and its ship, you know, a very 50s vibe there. I wish they'd have lent into that more 50s-ish vibe a bit more. But as it stands, it's going to go... It's going to go in D tier, yeah. Because it could have been a bit more. But now we enter the new era of the BBC, the new corporate logo. And we go with Ariel. So we've got the two. Uh, adopting a more three, almost like 3D CG-ish look on a red background with antennas. Like a good old telly. Uh, I think it's a very early design. And you can tell like it's sort of the forerunner of this new batch it's it has its place you know it's iconic for a reason but it's never quite done it for me i've got to be honest so i'm gonna put that in d tier which might be a bit of a shock to some of you then we've got duck the little rubber duck style to popping out of the bath i mean it's cute it's you know it's very cliche but they've they've molded it well and it's a better representation of the style that this new this new batch from this era were going for i think i'm gonna comfortably put that in c because it, it's just nice it's neat then we've got paint pot, which always baffled me because it's this, you know, we're taking paint. We've got the pot front and center and little twos bashing against it. I don't get it. You know, I, I don't think I've ever truly got it. I may have said it's nice in the past, but it's just a bit jarring that the central focus is quite literally a paint pot. And then these little twos, it's not even paint. There's just these twos bashing against it. So, yeah, I've not quite understood this one. It's, it's an F. It's an F. Funny that, you know, the original paint's in S and then this one's in F. Just, I, why? Why make that one? Then we've got Zappa. I love this one. The two Zappa, like the actual design of it, looks like it could be seen out and about. And the, you know, it's quite brutal seeing a fly being zapped or whatever. But again, the, the colors in this, the music, the whole vibe of it, the aesthetic, really cool. That's going to go in a solid B tier for me. The highest ranking of these new ones so far. Then we've got Gorilla. And I know there's multiple variants of this, but I've just done it sort of all as one because there's not that much variation in them you know a, a gorilla playing with like a banana style too it's 
it's cute. I don't really get that much more out of it. The, the gorilla is cute. Does the gorilla cuteness warrant a C tier? No, it's going to be D tier for me. Sorry. Then we round off 1997 with the Christmas Ident that year, the, you know, the two within the snow globe. It's better than 1996, I'll give you that. But again, I just think Christmas Idents, for the most part, for BBC Two, once the corporate logo changed and all that, they sort of fell off a little bit. But it's better than it's better than 96. So for that reason, it's going in D tier. Man, D tier be loading up with these new ones. And that is 1997, so C tier is still winning out. But D tier has overtaken the top ones, so... You know, answering this question, are these idents really as goated as everybody makes out to be? Possibly not. We've still got a few more years left. 1998 then. We kick off with Swan. Really beautiful. I love the elegance of this, the swan on the lake, the little two signets following along with it. Again, the soundtrack to this one as well. It's really calming, really peaceful, a really beautifully made crafted ident. The black and white look is something very different for BBC Two in this era, but it works so well. I'm actually, it's going in S, you know. It's its one of the best. Finally, one of the corporate logo ones in S tier. The first since 1995. Then we have Red Dwarf Night, which is funny because when I originally reviewed these, I hadn't seen any Red Dwarf. And now, of course, I have a, a podcast talking about Red Dwarf with the lovely Phil Hawkins, who you should go and check out his channel and that podcast as well. And there were five idents for this telling the story. So the first one is a scutter from Red Dwarf, the little droid meeting the two with a bit more personality. You know, they meet. It's cute. Not much more than that, though. So C tier for that one. Then there's the one in the cinema. You know, that's really cute, corny. I'm, I'm going to put that in C as well. Then there's the third one where they uh, they get up to some stuff. But I think the way in which they've communicated that is very tongue in cheek and very in keeping with that Red Dwarf style of humor. A uh, bit eerie seeing a two uh, open like that. But anyway, for that reason, it is going to go in B tier for me. When they get married, you know, really cute, really wholesome. Look at his little top hat and all that sort of stuff. That's going in B tier for me as well, I think. Because that's just, that's too cute to ignore. And then the fifth one is when they have children. Little twos and scutters jumping about. Again, it's cute. The, the thought of a two giving birth, though we don't see it, is a little... It's a little unnerving, but it's cute. It's going to go in C tier. So yeah, the Red Dwarf one's really, really fun. Nice little eye dance. Then we have one called Evolution, where you literally see the evolution of, of Man Before a 2. I know it was for like a theme night or whatever, but it's just a very, it's a very odd one to communicate into eye dance form, especially with the 2 finishing it. And even though it's meant to look like sleek or whatever, I find the color schemes a bit bland used here. So it's going to go in E tier for me, Evolution. It's not one of not one of my favorites from that year. And then we round off the year with Christmas of 1998, and it's, uh, ooh, let me think, it's F tier. I dislike this one so much. Everything about it, the, the, the close-up of the, the fairy in your face, the, the, the way this looks, it just doesn't look very nice, in my opinion. And I'm not just talking about, like, the, the quality of the video. It just doesn't look nice. It's not a very appealing ident. I hate the... The background colors and all that. It's just, no, not good. As Anthony Fantano would say, not good. And that's 1998. CT is racing ahead now. But, you know, BT has overtaken one of the lower ones. So we're, we're redeeming ourselves gradually. We're nearing the end now. Let's see what we can get out of 1999. Millennium. So all these twos falling through, like, the, the hourglass and all that sort of stuff. Really cool concept. The BBC Millennium ident that was used overall, I think, is a much better, it's a much better fit but this BBC Two one, it's okay, but it's gonna be it's gonna be D tier for me. Yeah, I've never really rated it that much highly. Then we have the Monty Python night. There were three of these. You've got the the mouse one where it. Uh, well, I won't spoil it. You're probably seeing it on the screen. It's very again very Python esque. So that's gonna go in C tier for me. The second one, the sort of was that the voting one? I think I uh, yeah I don't find that one as memorable. So. For that reason, D tier. And then the one, the weird one where it's like, you're watching BBC One instead. No, BBC One, Two. Again, very Python-esque. I think I like this one the most, though, so that's going to go in B tier. So a bit of a mix for the Python lot. Then we've got the Dalek one, the Dalek Two. Oh, this thing. I mean, you knew this was coming. S tier. But come on, look at it. It looks great, the way it moves, the vibe of it. I, I definitely need one of these in my life, don't I? And then we round off 1999 and the decade at large with Christmas. It's better than 1998, I'll give you that. It's I, I enjoy the uh, the vibe of this one a lot more. I think I'm going to put that in C tier because it's not it's not great compared to the first half of the decade. It's not beating them by a long shot many of them. But this one 
yeah, it's better than what's been happening the last few years. We're nearly there. We're going into the new millennium, but look at this. C is almost racing ahead, getting in second row there. B and D tier tie-in. Who's going to come out on top there? So 2000, we kick off with called Excalibur. You know, that thing of Excalibur rising from the water. And it's very similar to the, the Night of Love one, you know, a two coming out of the water. There's not as much play on the reflection there. It looks a lot sharper, a lot sleeker. But I think the Night of Love one just works better as a concept. The colors here are a bit muted. They're not that exciting. So I think with that in mind, it's going to have to go in D tier for me. Then we've got Catalyst, where they're two on fire. Again, a really exciting concept, but I think it doesn't really do much with it. And again, I've never really got the appeal or attraction of this one as others have. So that is going to go in E tier, would you believe? Then we've got Wave Day. Again, another water-themed one where the two a waves cascading around the two. Or cascading? Cascading? I'm talking about Cascada. So Wave Day is... It's... Yeah. This is, I think, what I wanted water to be from all the way back in 1991. But even then, is it exactly how I wanted it to be? Um, C tier. Yeah, C tier feels about right. Then we have Predator, the Venus flytrap one. Love it. I love the fact this is predominantly green. There aren't many idents from this set that are predominantly green. But I love the Venus flytrap effect, the two forming out of it. It's really, really cool. I'm going to put that in A tier. The first one in A tier since 1994. Blooming heck. Then we've got Kebab. And I know, again, there's variants to this where it gets like more and more cooked. But there's not really that much variation. It spins. It gets cooked. It is what it is. Again, it's neat, but I've never really understood the vast appeal of it. So that's another E tier one for me. Woodpecker. I love the design of this one. The two's bobbing down there. You know, it's very, there's something captivating about watching it like that, which I find really cool there. So yeah, really one of the best from 2000. Absolutely. That's, you know what? That's another A tier. Another A tier for 2000. Then we have it scary out there. A more horror themed item for BBC Two. A rarity. We had it with Halloween night, but it's happening again. With the two sort of shrubs out of the ground, it's uh, it might give you a little jolt when it happens. But again, if you really want to go spooky, I think even within the parameters of an ident, you can go a lot. You could go a lot further with that. Definitely a lot further than that. But it's it's not bad. But it's not one of the greats, is it? I'm gonna put that in D tier, firmly in D tier. Then we have the Simpsons ones. Okay, when the Simpsons was on BBC Two, the first one is the two crashing into the screen, cracking it. You know, the two all in yellow there, like the title sequence almost. Not much apart from that that communicates it's The Simpsons. I do think they could have gone further with it. But I think, you know, it's still worthy. Ooh, I think that's still worthy of a place in C tier. Yeah, I think that can be in C tier. New Row as well. The other one is a lot better. It's a bit more creepy, you know, seeing our favorite family as twos. It's, it's quite unnerving. It's something like you might see out of Treehouse of Horror or something like that. But it's... It's, it definitely communicates The Simpsons a lot more. I'm going to put that in... That's going to go in B tier, I think. So it's, it is very creepy. Then we have I Love the 70s, shown by a lava lamp, which, of course, means the very 70s. Yeah, again, nice. Ni nice aesthetic. I love the color scheme of this one, actually. But, yeah, it's it's not one of not one of the goats, certainly. I think for 70s, you could have gone even further. So that's going to go in C tier. Then we've got Wave Night. A lot of idents in 2000. Wave Night. This is better than Wave Day. The colors, again, the aesthetic. It's the same exact concept, but at nighttime. But it looks magnificent. Uh, ooh, B or A tier? That's the question. Uh, I'm going to put this in B tier. Yeah, it's not, not quite A. Not quite there. And we have the X-Files Night. Now, there were three of these. And I've got to be honest, the first two I always thought were just a bit mid, really. Mid to, in fact, I'm, I think I'm going to put both the first two in the D tier. And then the third one's a bit cooler, you know, more of a negative effect. I vibe with this one a bit more. I'm going to put that in C tier. But yeah, I've never really vibed too much with the X-Files generally. And these idents, similar. I've not vibed with them that greatly. Then we have uh, the Christmas one for 2000, our last Christmas ident here. So, uh, it's, it's a nice one. Two skating and then falling off this gigantic two. It's very visually appealing. Definitely one of the more visually appealing Christmas idents we've had in the recent years from this set. I'm going to put that in B tier. Because I think since the corporate logo changed in 97, it's definitely the best one from that set, hands down. Then we move into the final year, 2001. And there's only three. We've got I Love the 80s, where a two's jigging about quite jaggedly to stuff on the TV. And again, it's nice to see that 80s stuff pop up. But it's just, I don't really 
it's cute and it again highlights the personality twos that were to come later that year but the color scheme i don't like the silver and red and the jagged movements of the two don't vibe with me either that's going in e tier then we have oh boy this is comedy night but they're themed over like Anne robinson and this is horrifying, like the model they used and like the, the vocals and everything. I don't think the, the two even features, maybe in the background, but it's certainly not front and center. And it's it's just, it's very weird, very creepy, a little bit horrifying. But I do find it amusing because it's horrifying. But is it gonna, oh, where's it gonna go? Where's it? It's, it, it's gonna go D tier because even though it has its charm, it's, it's just too horrifying for me personally. And then finally, we have Star Trek Night. I wish this ident would have been longer. It's very short, seeing this two sort of materialize or dematerialize, whatever it is. Very, I love the color scheme, obviously evoking Star Trek, but this could have been so, so much more. Definitely so much more. So for that reason, it's going to go quite firmly into, into, if he wants to let me, into D tier. And there you have it. There it is. Let's have a look. That is my tier list ranking of all the BBC Two idents from the 90s and into 2000, 2001. And quite a surprise. It seems I think the, well, the majority there are mid, in my opinion. C tier being about mid. D tier not far behind it. I must admit, a lot of idents I didn't seem to hold the same love for as other people. Then what comes next? B tier does come next, though. That takes third. Then A tier. Then E tier. And thankfully, S tier has a few more than F tier. So let's put it this way, guys. If I think C is mid, that's better than me thinking that they're rubbish. I sort of see D as like, they're fine, but there's a lot of like missed potential there. E is verging on, oh God, why did you make this? But I see some merit. F is like, why? F is, why did you do that? Why did you make this? And there's only five of them in F tier, to be honest. So I take that as a win. And then looking at B, there's quite a lot in there as well. B is like, I think they're good. Not quite great, but they're really good. A is like, these are great. Love like the aesthetics, everything about them, the execution. And S is just, come on. S is elite. And there's seven of them in there. There's paint, there's optics, there's car, Christmas 93, Steam, Swan, and Dalek. And I'm perfectly happy with that. Just looking over it again, I don't think I'd change anything about this, to be honest. But just because I don't necessarily think that all of the set is the greatest of all time, this set still is iconic for many reasons. But I want to know what you think. What are your thoughts on my ranking of these idents? Do you agree with me for the most part? Do you disagree with me largely? How would you do this yourself? You can let me know in the comments. In terms of accessing this, I have made it public, but because of the weird way of like uploading files to Tier Maker, you get like the first 11 that are there and then you'll have to add the rest yourself i am sorry about that i did try and add all of these at once but it exceeded the file limit or something like that but it is public so i'll leave the link in the description you're more than welcome to make your own version of this tier list absolutely i'd love to hear about some of your variations but you can let me know on the comments down below if you agree or disagree with me on anything in particular if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel as well. We'd love to have you aboard. Also, let me know, do you want to see more tier lists like this? Do you want to see me cover more idents from different channels into tier lists like this? If you do, let me know in the comments and it's something that I might do in the near future. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I've been Adam Martin from AMTV and I'll see you next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show and a special thank you to Macra, Ethan Carberry holt Bruce Danton, Globe of Reviews, Derek Chambers, Sean Nock, Dodd Khan, Liam Domain, Trev Hughes, AJ Mac 200017, Deck KP20, Simon Harrison, and Evan Hart38, our AMTV staff members.